Today, I'm going to be using the word fleur de sel a lot. For the longest time, I didn't know what it, it means. It's a French word. It sounds very sexy. Like if I say, tonight, baby, I'm going to be giving you some fleur de sel under the moonlight. You're going to be ecstatic, right? You're going to be like, oh my God, he just said he's going to be giving me some fleur de sel under the moonlight. Oh my God, oh my God, I can't even. However, fleur de sel actually means sea salt. Nothing much to it. So, it just means I'm going to be giving you some sea salt under the moonlight. Don't ask me why I usually give girls fleur de sel under the moonlight. I'm weird. I just roll like that. Okay. Anyway, today, it's waffle fries. I'm sure you heard how crispy that is. With this coleslaw and this flavored salt. Mmm. I love waffle fries. Really delicious. So without further ado, let me show you how to make this at home. Okay. Hmm. Hello everyone. Welcome to Michael Peebles Therapy. Of course, in this waffle fry recipe, you're going to need some russet potatoes and cold water. For the flavored salt, you're going to need some sea salt, black pepper, paprika, this is garlic powder, and sea salt, of course. Um, now, for the cut, you're going to need a mandolin. Mine is plastic, though if you're using this metallic one, you have to be really careful. This, you see this blade right here, can slice you worse than a crazy ex-girlfriend who caught you in bed with her sister. <laughs> I know the, the ladies will attack me for that joke. Anyway, first thing, you're going to grab your mandolin. Mine is plastic, so it's safe. See, it can't really cut, cut me. And then, you make your first cut. Now you see these ridges? You have to put it on a 90 degree angle and just make it like that. Now you see, these are waffle fries. So again, you rotate it to that 90 degree angle and then you make the cut. See, you see they're facing this way. Make them face that way up, 90 degrees again, like that. It's as simple as that. See that? Let me show you again. See that? Now, after, after you've, done, you've, you've finished uh, cutting these, just soak them in cold water for like 30 minutes. So as your potatoes are soaking in the cold water, now it's onto your flavored fleur de sel. You grab one of these. Making it is really simple. This fleur de sel. I told you I'm going to be using that word a lot. Just a teaspoon of, of sea salt. A teaspoon of smoked paprika. Preferably smoked. That's the most delicious. And then uh, your garlic powder. A teaspoon. Ratio of one is to one is to one, okay? One is to one is to one. And then a teaspoon of black pepper in that. And then the top, close it and shake it. See that? You've created your flavored fleur de sel. It's that simple. Now I dried them and I patted them down. Now they're dry, you see? So just grab this and put them in small batches into medium heat oil. Hey, this is used oil. I already used this. I don't know why. For some reason, um, the oil that is used usually gives uh, the, the crisp, so even fried chicken, uh, a, a better crisp. I don't know why. If you know the reason, just put it down in the comments. Tell me. Okay, now you need this to be frying for about uh, five minutes in the medium heat first. Notice that I said, notice that I said medium heat. I didn't put a precise temperature. That's because uh, any chef that usually tells you you must heat your oil up to a certain like 58 or 60 or 100.253 degrees for 5 minutes and 23 seconds. Actually that chef is lying to you because a lot of factors play in, uh, come into play. Unless it's baking which needs a precise temperature, cooking fries or something else usually differs. Because these potatoes, they grew at a, they are not the same potatoes I'll use with that chef. Who's telling you that? Oh, um, even the altitude. He might be cooking at the top of Mount Kilimanjaro and you are cooking at the coast. They'll still be appearing different. So any chef who tells you a certain precise temperature is lying. I just say use a medium heat. Okay. Now, five minutes medium heat. Remove your, your waffle fries. And this applies to all fries, <laughs> not just waffle fries. Remove your waffle fries from the, from the oil. And then, as you remove, increase your temperature to the maximum now. High heat. 
and then you wait for the oil to become hot and then you throw your, your, your waffle fries back in now when your oil becomes hot maximum heat pop this back in see that okay you see a few seconds in barely a minute in maximum heat and the waffle fries are ready hear how crispy that is just pull them out drain them of excessive oil like that and the waffle fries are done let me give this a go with a little flood the cell Hear how crispy that is. Crispy on the outside and very soft and gooey on the inside. That's how fries should be. Mm, very delicious. Okay, guys, thank you for watching this recipe, and I'll see you on the next vlog. Later. Oh!